Now give me a coffee. I don't have a coffee. Gentlemen of the press, are you ready for me? Yes, yeah, let me go on. Gentlemen of the press, I, Alaji Mujai Tokubasari, Alawedi Abala of Kalawari, want to say that I stand by the statement I made, and I want to go on further to make the following. If any more attacks are carried out that affect our people, or we perceive that attacks are going to be carried out, we carry out, we carry out preemptive action and disproportionate, disproportionate reaction to any attack that is being planned that is going to be carried out. It's quite unfortunate that the oligarchy in the north, represented by the feudal Fulanese, who migrated and invaded our land from Futajelon had continued to show disregard and disrespect for the owners of the country they came into. And people have tolerated them for a very long time, but it will, that will no longer continue. I want to refresh your memory that On the 5th of October 2010, a Fulani, Lawal Keita, former governor of Okaduna State, said this Anything short of a Northern president is tantamount to stealing our presidency. Jonathan has to go, and he will go. Emphasis. Even if he uses the incumbency power to get his nomination on the platform of the PDP. We, he will be frustrated out. Emphasis. He will be frustrated out. The North is determined, if that happened, to make the country ungovernable for President Goodluck Jonathan or any other Sultana who finds his way to the seat of power on the platform of the People's Democratic Party against the principles of the party zoning policy. Today, Insurgent group in furtherance to this clarion call from the Fudal Fulani occupiers of our land had wrecked havoc. They are attacking barracks and seizing weapons. Their foot soldiers in the army are planning a coup because at the top they cannot plan a coup. And good luck, Jonathan, is just sitting and watching. But we will not sit and watch. For every action, there will be an equal and opposite reaction. And it will be disproportionate. And nobody arrested this fellow, this invader from Futajelon, Lawan Keita. Nobody arrested him. He's walking free. After that, another Fulani who had used our money to overthrow democratically elected government, a corrupt Fulani, General Muhammad Buhari, very corrupt, highly corrupt, rotten, made this statement, God willing, by 2015, he made this statement, May 15th of May 2012, God willing, by 2015, 
something will happen. God willing, by 2015, something will happen. Emphasis. They either conduct a free and fair election or they go a disgraceful way. If what happened in 2011 should again happen in 2015, by the grace of God, the dog and the baboon would all be soaked in blood. He was never arrested. This man, in all civilized countries, in Chile, General Pinochet, is being tried. There is a call for his extradition. Former military leaders are being tried in Pakistan. It is only in this clan, yeah, that these things are not happening. That a man who overthrew a legitimate government continues to threaten us with blood and nothing has happened. Who is this criminal who took our guns, our resources to plan and overthrow a legitimate government without any reason whatsoever? And introduce laws, retroactive laws that led to the death of citizens. Nothing has happened. To cram it all, another Fulani invader of our homeland continued. Let me also use this opportunity to say on the behalf of us, one Farouk Adamu Aliyu, us in the north, that nobody has the monopoly of violence. We have not had Maitaitini in the south. We have not had Boko Haram in the south. We have not had Shia revolt in the south. But this man is telling us that let us also use this opportunity to say on behalf of, the, of us in the north that nobody has a monopoly of violence. We thank God that they don't have because we are going to give them surplus violence. That on behalf of the people of northern extraction, there shall be no one Nigeria if a northerner is not elected president. No northerner will ever ever be elected president in this country again. There will be no one Nigeria if a Nottana is not elected president. Because the politics is a game of nobody. They don't have. There is nowhere. And harried land is more populated than the fertile south or the savannah. If it is so, Mali should have been more populated than Nigeria. Nigeria should have been more populated than Nigeria. Chad should have been more populated than Nigeria. Burkina Faso should have been more populated than Nigeria. They are all our neighbors. How come it is only this belt of Fulani Marudas that are more populated than us? We will not allow it. We will not continue. We know that we are more populated than them and no figure they will bring will be accepted. He said, the game of number and the job people are not up to one million or two million or even five million. Let us, let us tell them we are ready for them. Whether the night, I am not afraid of arrest. I've been arrested before. I was put under SSS on the ground 10 months, 11 days. I was buried alive. And I came out alive. I did not give up. I did not capitulate. I was detained for two, 22 months, 10 days. I did not capitulate. So I am not afraid of arrest. But they would never arrest me. Because if they do, the consequences of my arrest, Nigeria would be history. I am saying it bold and clear without missing word that the consequences of my arrest, Nigeria would be history. The last time my arrest reduced Nigerian oil production to 700,000 barrels, this time it will be zero. And we will march violence by violence. We will march intrigues by intrigues. We march bullet by bullet. We march blood by blood. We are ready for them. Good Lord Jonathan will complete his tenure of two terms, whether they like it or not. To us, they don't even exist. Because we pay them. He who pays the piper, they take the tones. We pay them. We feed them. They are parasites. They are a burden on us. They have no reason to be with us. They have no reason whatsoever to be with us. And this is not the first time we have expressed the people, the 
aborigine of this country, of this land that expresses his opinion. Gideon Oka expressed it, and every all our people has it in their mind that these invaders must be expelled from our land. And we will follow it to the letter. And we are shalom, we are daring them to arrest me. I am daring them to arrest me if they can. If they don't, they are cowards and shame on them. There will be no peace for the man who does not want peace. When we were in the creek, we fought for a just cause. We never fought and kill innocent people. They continue to kill and people tell us, leave them alone. Eh, ah, not do well. If you do, uh, you know them now. That time is gone. Forever and ever. And we are saying that it is in their best interest to behave. It is in their best interest to behave. Because they had no value. They are destitute. They are parasites. They contribute nothing. We feed them and we condone their excesses. But we will no longer condone their excesses. Thank you very much. If there is any question.